Hello everyone. Well, it's now, at the time of making this video, the 8th of March 2019, and I actually paid for this from eBay, eBay seller, on the 20th of February. So, if this hadn't turned up today, it's a good job it did. I was about to put in a claim for non-receipt. <coughs> so it's taken quite some time, but uh, let's hope it was worth the wait. Now, I've just done two two other videos prior to this today. So I thought, right, well, I've, while I've got my camera out and my lights, might as well do it now, get it over with. This is, and some of you won't like this, but it's an older vacuum. I, I get a few comments saying, why do you show old vacuums as well as the new ones? And I did explain that, you know, you can't please everyone all the time. Some people like to see new vacuum cleaners reviewed especially if they're wanting to buy a vacuum others there are collectors out there like to see any vacuum and some some like to see the old ones more than the newer ones and this will hopefully satisfy those people that like to see old cleaners because this is going to be one of my oldest cleaners not the oldest but it's pretty old this is going to be one that's even older than me That might be useful when I'm selling a few vacuums, this packaging. It's been packed well anyway, but uh, that's probably why it took so long. <laughs> this is, I think, a Hoover Junior Model 119. There we go. Now, so no paper bag inside this. Whoops. There is the lower handle. This should be in pretty clean and tidy condition because it has come from another collector. That's in very good condition. Often the handles on the older cleaners can perish, but that is very good. It's got Hoover, you can quite see it embossed. Can you see there? Hoover's embossed on the handle. It might have been a replacement. But if it is a replacement, it is a genuine replacement and replaced a long time ago. But it might be original. It's quite unusual that they survive. We have... Now I was told that this is a replacement bag, but it is a genuine replacement. And again, this would have been replaced a while ago. Most of the cleaners of this era seem to have generic grey bags that maybe just say Junior on them. They won't have the brand because they're not Hoover bags. But this, and it's the right sort of colour, it's even got the metal end where you attach it to the machine. It's got the metal slide at the top. So basically this is a very dirty way of emptying. You have to remove it from the cleaner, take off the metal slide, supposed to do it over some newspaper and turn it upside down and just shake out the dirt probably best to do that outside rather than inside you've got your little spring at the top to connect it to the top of the machine I assume the cable is original it's slight, slightly ribbed it's certainly the right color and then lovely authentic brown mk plug on there none of your silly modern chinese made plugs for this vintage girl it's got a nice age appropriate plug i think i think that's everything let's check so it's called Junior, and this will match my 612, my Hoover 612, which was the sort of big daddy. I think it would have been around the same sort of time period. Uh, I really don't know the era of this. It could be from the 50s. Uh, somebody in the comments, I'm sure, will tell me. I'm not, you know, I do like them. Anything that's old, especially as well made as this cleaner, because, you know, it's metal. Metal and Bakelite, I believe that is, not plastic, that's Bakelite, which is sort of an old, old-fashioned type of plastic they had back in the day before these uh, new types of plastics. That's quite a, a hard plastic. But yes, it is. Look at how clean it is. Lovely and clean. 
the brushes yeah I, I think you can I've seen odd odd places to get uh, new brushes for this I'm not sure if they're genuine Hoover ones so these are genuine Hoover brushes on this because I can see Hoover stamped Still got the old famous beats as it sweeps, as it cleans action. Um, this model, we'll have a look at the rating plate and we'll be able to hopefully learn how old this machine is. There we go. So it's the Hoover Cleaner registered trademark 0 to 60 cycles, AC or DC motor, well, that's unusual, 225 watts. 225 to 250 volts rating 9. This Hoover cleaner is protected by patents, registered designs and trademarks in Great Britain and the principal countries of the world made by Hoover Limited Great Britain. And this would have been made in the Perivale factory, I assume, in Greenford, Middlesex. There is uh, some more numbers actually stamped to the metal base. It says K70812 model 119 i've assembled the handle off camera because i don't think you needed to see it it's basically just a couple of screws there's a screw here at the bottom where it connects to the bale the lower handle and then there's a screw in the middle here where you connect the upper handle to the lower and there's also a little metal clip that secures this cord relief here so that's basically it um, just have to put the bag on so I have to connect it to the bottom first no not even a zip on this bag so you do have to slide off the top completely to gain access to the dirt it's just a bayonet fitting to secure the bag to the cleaner so you just locate it with little uh, pip there and at the back just locate it and then you twist it until it more or less locks into place and then we just need to attach the bag spring to the little hook here on the top and that's the Hoover Junior fully assembled. So here's the cleaner head finished uh, in a sort of a bronze colour and brown. None of your fashion colours for this era. We've got this removable metal cover here so you can connect the cleaning tools. I believe they did fit into the front like the later Hoover Juniors. This one is pretty old because as you can see, it's got by appointment to the late King George VI, manufacturer of electric suction sweepers, Hoover registered trademark, and of course the famous Junior name. So if we remove the plate by pulling it up from underneath, it's got a little guide on the back there to show which way the belt should go on the motor spindle. This will take the same belts as the much later juniors. Um, not all the, all the juniors up to the flat belt design, the U1036 that came out in the late 70s, I think it was 79, possibly a bit earlier, that started to have a flat belt. But all the juniors before used the round belt, and I think it's still the same belt that is fitted to this 119 model. It's course it's got a metal fan in there so obviously the motor drives the fan that creates the suction and then the spindle rotates to drive of course the hoover agitator right I'm, I'm itching to turn this on i'm not going to i will do a demo of this but i'll, do, I'll just turn it on and, and run it across the carpet first i'll do a demo in a future video um, I want to do something with the bag, Put um, try and fit somehow a paper bag inside this. So if I do a more dramatic demo with this cleaner, it's not going to really mess up the bag too much. I don't really want to have to wash the bag. It's going to put a little bit of dirt inside this bag just from the short demo, but I'll be able to vacuum that out. So um, yeah, I've had one of these in the past, of course. Uh, I also had a later version, looked much the same, but I think it was white and blue. But yeah, probably lose quite a bit of suction around it. There's no um, height control, I don't think, on this. I don't think so. We've got uh, a big on-off switch at the back, foot-operated on-off switch. Two little wheels, Bakelite wheels. 
and either side of the motor unit just here is where you access the carbon brushes so if you needed to change the carbon brushes on this machine you wouldn't have to take all the motor out you could just unscrew and put them in obviously these cleaners were designed to be serviced and repaired because they were quite expensive back in the day and often when somebody purchased one of these and it was often they couldn't afford to buy one outright they would use a higher purchase scheme where they'd pay something every week or every month and sometimes they'd sign up to get their vacuum annually serviced by a, a hoover dealer or whatever manufacturer they sold i'm sure other manufacturers um, had service contracts but yeah there's no um there's no height control two more wheels here again tough baker light you've got the little belt guard there so without any further ado hopefully this lovely old vacuum has left a few black marks on my carpet yes oh dear left a few oily marks as, as you would expect with a machine of this age i'm sure i'll get that off let's uh let's take this lovely old hoover junior for a little bit of a test drive now as this hoover junior has come from a collector i'm assuming it won't blow up or give me an electric shock it's a very short cable very still a very good quality cable you have to be careful with older appliances the cables can perish in time and sometimes you have to fit a modern cable which doesn't uh, look very good if you want to keep the machine looking as authentic as you can so i'm going to go and plug in the old girl she might turn on because i have been fiddling with her switch haven't i so get ready she did turn on eventually she took her time starting up didn't she <laughs> The bag didn't inflate immediately. Right, it, she sounds very, very quiet. I'm saying she, it is an it, but you know. folks I know I shouldn't but uh, <laughs> I've put down some glitter and sand left over from Christmas I'll probably regret this but I just want to see if it's going to do anything especially the the neon sand here let's see if it still can beat as it sweeps as it cleans it might benefit from a new belt fitted but the belt didn't look too bad Let's pass this old Hoover Junior through the middle of all this muck. Yes, well there was some agitation, there was definitely some agitation, but it has left. It seems to have done a very good job of spreading out a lot of the dirt. I mean, another couple of passes it might remove it, but yeah, there's a looks a fairly clean sweep, but this part of the carpet is certainly darker than the bit of the carpet that's not had the sand and glitter put on it. Let's try again. nearly all gone now to be honest took four passes in fact it might take six to get the rest of it but considering the age of this vacuum cleaner <laughs> that's not bad at all yep they don't make them like they used to
Well, there you go. That's the Hoover Junior 119. I expect some of my older viewers might remember this cleaner being used by their grandmothers or mothers even. It would have been a very popular machine back in the day. Slightly more affordable than the larger versions, the 612. And I think around about the time you could buy this and the 612, you would have been able to buy a Hoover Dustette as well in the same brown and bronzy color scheme. So there you go, a blast from the past. A very old cleaner. I do tend to favor sort of cleaners from the 70s onwards. But when I saw this for sale on eBay, I thought, well, I could do with it. Plus also, if I ever decide to shave my legs, put on some fishnet tights, a short black skirt and a pink top, I could do the old I want to break free video because this is the model that was actually featured in the Queen video of I want to break free. If you remember that, once seen, never forgotten, just like this lovely Hoover Junior. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye for now.